So last time we were on, gold came up as a topic. Yeah. Um, and you said and pronounced gold as dead. And yes. we cannot tell you the amount of emails <laughs> and hate mail you yes. received. So I'm giving you a chance. Do you want to address our, our wonderful gold community? Do you have I, anything to I, say? I would like to address okay. them. And, and, and what I'm going to say is, you better listen to me now. If you didn't listen to me the first time, I'm giving you a second chance. There's not many second chances in life. Gold is dead, folks. It is not an asset class anymore. And I know I'm going to get the emails. I was giving emails. you a chance to no. redeem. To so me, I would rather, see, I'm not the kind of guy that's trying to get sales or to look good. I'm actually trying to help you. This is truly a therapy session for people that need to get off gold. They're addicted to gold. They're addicts. They need to get off it. <laughs> All right. Well, I, I tried. It's I you. I never, tried. I'll never see you again, right? It's basically saying you're saying <laughs> no, goodbye. I, you know what? Yes, I come from the gold universe, yes. the metaverse. Um, but I am open to having a conversation. We can have, an, yeah. you know, people are like, why didn't you go down that road and challenge him? Because yeah. I think that takes an hour uh, we could say conversation. It for, we could say it for hours, yeah. But that aside, I yeah. want to talk about a headline that's trending. Uh, Rand Paul, Senator Rand Paul yeah. coming out now saying... Um, he has thinking about cryptocurrency and he could potentially see it become the reserve currency of the world, replacing the U.S. dollar. Yep. Thoughts on this? Well, my thoughts are, if you let's go look back in history. Every empire is usually led with their currency was the world currency at that time. Usually they fall, or I should say they always fall. The U.S., I hate to say it, being born in the U.S., U.S. citizen, I think we're on the, the downslope, and it's a lot of anti-government has to do with that. A lot of lazy young people have to do with that, and just the way that things have changed. We're not as entrepreneurial anymore. Long story short, that's going to lead to our currency, the U.S. dollar, not being the world's reserve currency anymore. But then you have to start looking at what's the alternatives, because somebody has to step up. If you're on the top of the you know, king of the mountain, somebody's got to knock you off. I don't really see much out there right now. The euro, definitely not. The euro might not be around in 10 years from now. Uh, Swiss franc, no. Japanese yen, no. Chinese yuan, not ready for that yet. So what do you, where, where, where does it come from then? It comes from the cryptocurrency world. So if somebody knocks the U.S. dollar off their right. peak, it will be cryptocurrency. Right, you're saying it should it happen, you yes. could only see it being a cryptocurrency. Yep.